Uh, my name is Laura Reynolds. I'm from the University of California, Santa Barbara, and I study coastal sedimentology. However, I got my start in research crushing fish scales for a trace element lab, which was not the most exciting research experience, but it was very valuable because I had no prior research or lab experience, and I was quite frankly pretty confident in the lab environment. Um, so this research experience helped me have the background and the confidence to go on to pursue a senior thesis and then eventually to get into grad school and be where I am today. So this is just to say that, as you all know, undergraduate research experience is very important um, to engaging and retaining and preparing students for the future and graduate studies. Um, but the question is, uh, how how do you gain this initial research experience when you have no prior experience and therefore no particular skills? I was lucky to just sort of fall into this research position when I was looking for a part-time job. Um, but these sorts of research, paid research positions are not always an option. And what I've seen as a graduate student uh, at a big research university, more and more, especially as you know, sometimes money gets a little bit tighter, is that undergrads who are desperate for that initial research experience will resort to um, working for free for a graduate student, and um, sometimes even for no credit. And so a lot of times people do things like picking forums, or crushing rocks in the basement, or in my lab we have people run a lot of grain size. So these are very valuable research experiences, but um, working for free is not an option for every student. A lot of people work part-time or even full-time in addition to their studies, and so working without pay is just not something people have an inclination or time for. So if we start expecting students, again, especially as financials get tighter, um, to work for free to gain that initial experience, then we really limit the population of students who can participate in research, especially early in their careers. And also just kind of simple economics theory is that if you pay people to do work, they tend to do a better job, um, more invested, more productive. So that's good for everyone involved. But the problem is, is where do we find money, especially as graduate students who are employing undergraduate researchers, where do we find the money to pay them? Um, and this is actually kind of a hard question to answer. There are a lot of some established grants um, and work study programs, but those funds are usually more accessible to faculty than they are to graduate students who are the people who are directly working, uh, oftentimes with undergrad students. Uh, if you look through various research, uh, research websites at universities, you'll see that there is tons of funding for undergraduate research, but it's usually geared towards research costs. The vast majority of these grants that you see listed uh, at least on the UC websites that I'm familiar with, are for the cost of research and not for salaries. Um, one of the most easy research grants to get at my university is just this general research grant where students fill a very simple, easy application with a mentor and they can get $750 to cover research costs with the chair. Um, so this is, again, very easily accessible, but as I kind of mentioned before, a lot of those introductory research experiences, such as picking forums or crushing rocks, don't actually cost a lot of money. So what I would propose, and I haven't proposed this in any really logistical way, but just kind of as an idea um, in the future, would be to reallocate some of those funding, some of the funding that we put towards research costs, to go specifically for salaries. Um, and I think that this would create, or to create a parallel funding source if there's actually money for it. Um, and I think that the availability of funding that is specifically for salaries and not actually for research costs um, would make these early opportunities a lot more accessible to students, um, a lot more appealing. Rock crushing is a lot more appealing if you're getting paid for it. And more productive, both for the undergraduates and the graduate students who are employing them. So again, this is sort of a theoretical thing, I haven't really looked into logistics, but I think it's something that is worth pursuing uh, for the future. Thanks.